Hi, I'm Candace. And I'm Jacqueline. And welcome to Aisle by Aisle. We're taking a trip through the grocery store to share a few tips we've learned along the way about making healthier food and drink choices. In this segment, we're going to talk about seafood. I try to eat fish twice a week to get those heart-healthy omega fats I always hear so much about. I head straight for the fresh fish display and look for what's on sale. Try to pick oily fish like herring, sardines, anchovies, and salmon because they're higher in omega-3 fats. Before I learned how simple it is to cook fresh fish, I used to buy frozen breaded fish. While it was simple to heat up and serve, I realized it had a lot of sodium and ingredients I didn't really need. Plus, it didn't even taste as good as the fish I bake myself. Yeah, I try to eat fish a couple times a week too. For a long time, I was worried about mercury because I knew it would be an issue if I got pregnant. But I didn't know which ones had a lot of mercury, so I just avoided it altogether. How did you decide which ones to choose? Well, I looked into it and I discovered that it was the bigger predatory fish that had the highest amount of mercury. Those are the fish that eat other fish. Those include shark, swordfish, king mackerel, and tilefish. There are other fish that have some mercury, like albacore tuna. But I found out that if you only eat six ounces or less, up to two times a week, you don't really have to worry about it. In addition to fresh fish, I also buy canned light tuna and canned salmon. Both of these are great in a sandwich, on a salad, or in one of my favorite recipes. So in the seafood aisle, any choice is a good choice, really. But to get the most omega-3 fats, you can, at least once a week, buy oily fish, like herring, salmon, sardines, anchovies, and canned light tuna. And when preparing these fish at home, bake, grill, or steam them instead of frying them to receive the maximum health benefits. That way you can cut down on the fat and the sodium you take in when you use the frozen or the canned versions. We hope this trip through the grocery store was informative for you. It was for us. To find out more, to get recipes, or to download the tip sheet for this segment, visit www.myeatsmartmovemore.com. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Candace. Thank you for joining us for Aisle by Aisle.